there is a new trend in town and it's called rage baiting, okay? The Sasma Awards, they want to try us and it's not very demure. It's not very cutex. I don't like it, okay? Tiki tiki, pass off command, full stop. Magarina pum chaka to bela. Manko gi pain di yang pendu lela. Manko gi anyang anasan. If you're not a 90s, I'm, I'm sure you like. It's in the scenes. Anyway, let's get into the video. Gyan amuge la gung uboyami. Bum tabaka chat. Bum tabaka koko. Bum tabaka anti. Bum tabaka sussy. I am Sims and it's at the right Sims on Instagram. So please uh, follow your sister. Okay, guys, it's a lot, so let's just get through everything. Number one, I just want to correct my previous video where I said Asavela Mniti is the one that filed for divorce against her husband. It turns out it's the husband who filed the divorce papers. Clearly, with Samuel's birth equipment has juice and salutate insight. It's keeping him with her. Asavela, it's okay, my sister. Alwechanga, lungechanga, prayers, prayers, soros, soros. It's okay. You are now my colleague in the divorce court. And we are doing well there. We are doing well there. We are just raising our kids and moving on. So you will be fine also. You have one million followers on Instagram, my sister. You're an actress. You look like you came from the sky, like an angel. So you will do very well in the single division department. Can we talk about the news that is just not sitting well with the whole of South Africa right now? The SASMA Awards have announced their nominees. And guess what is going down in the food category? They nominated Nara Smith. Nara Smith, who is Lucky Blue Smith's wife? Nara Smith, who blatantly disregards her African roots and says she's more German than anything. And also, Nara Smith is not South African, guys. She has said that her dad is German. Her mother is from Lesotho. Lesotho is not in South Africa. It is in South Africa because of demographia, not by biologia. No, guys. So Nara is not South African, okay? Anyway, so that is what is going down. So people are like, you nominated Nara Smith but didn't nominate Uonezwa. What is going on? So I feel like this is a horrible snub towards Uonezwa. And they're just trying to get us upset and angry. And we are very upset. I am not okay. Onezwa, you left. I don't even know. You know what? That's exactly what they want from us. To be um, upset. They want us to be talking about them just like they did with Miss South Africa. Niwi Nili. We are talking about another topic that's upsetting me and my homegirls, okay? So we know that our superstar, Keenan Jared Forbes, known and loved as AKA, he was unalived in the most senseless and most horrific way possible. Like it was captured on camera, right? Fine, the killers were caught and they are... Uh, currently in custody and court proceedings are underway so two of the killers fled to swaziland right and we've been fighting extradition to get them back to account for their crime in south africa extradition is successful and those two kulugutus will be back in south africa to account for what they did to our super mega guys i i don't know i need them under the jail I need them to be Tabo Bester's colleagues as soon as possible. I wish life, eh, ini, life meant life in South Africa, like life without parole meant that in South Africa. I need these people to never see the light of day. I need Sylvester Fuking to train them under the jail. It's a pity Sylvester is not in the jail anymore, guys. <sighs> when I just think about Super Mega not being here with us anymore, I just... And it's all because of seven Kulugutus who wanted to share 800,000 amongst themselves. I just cannot. So let's talk about that in the comment section down below. Our favorite Mugel in South Africa, Bonang Matiba. 
we know that she's been in a very, very good space. Uh, she's in that private part collaboration with her partner. That Mjolo, guys. I love Wonang's relationship so much. And she's dating a man of stature, a man of roots Puchari, a man of a uh, checkers hyper. Hey, oh, that boy is treating Bonang so well. Like, Bonang is constantly, like, telling us how well this boy is treating her. Okay, Bona. But now, it is alleged that this man is in the crooked places, guys. Um, there's a story that is going around saying that David, that's his name, okay? David Pume, um, he was in a business relationship with a contractor, okay? Uh, because he's a nice guy, we'll just say that he forgot to pay him 300,000 rand. Now, the wild part is that he's been owing this contractor 300,000 rand for six years. It means you can give birth, give birth again, give birth again, and Bonang's boyfriend will still not pay that contractor. It's been six years. My daughter is seven years old. So it means my daughter was still an infant child when this deal went down. And so because we like Bonang's partner, we'll just say that it slipped his mind. Or did it? No, the med says that he, he didn't because they are going to court. That contractor wants his money. I think it should be given back with interest at this point. Because what? What? Bonang, please tell your man to do the right thing because... As South Africa, we really like him and we are rooting for you as Mjolo. So can you just pay back the money? Pay back the money. Okay. Type there in the comment section down below. Ha! Let us talk about Married at First Sight. Okay. Yesterday, episode 10 dropped. I've been watching this religiously from the start. Okay. So it's five couples, right? It's D and Kuzo. They are definitely getting a divorce. Why? D is hyper, hypersensitive. Kuto is a guest lighter of note. It seems like Kuto does things to D off camera. And then when D reacts, Kuto is like, but, but we can also give it up to Kuto. He's very calm. He is very calm. Udi, like, nae, unobu bossy. So they're definitely getting a divorce. Then it's Zitobile and Tami. Zitobile is me. I cry every five minutes. If things inconvenience me or things don't go my way, I cry every five minutes. That's exactly how their relationship is going. Tammy, Tammy is not fit to be anyone's boyfriend, let alone anyone's husband. Oh, Tammy, it's about him. It's about his outfits. It's about him. It's about his clothes. It's about him. It's about how he looks. It's about him. Oh, Tammy, everything is about Tammy. I need Zitobila to get as far away from Tammy as she can. They are definitely getting a divorce. Buitepo and Sebenzile. What a couple, what a cherry, what a goodness, what a match made in ultramel heaven. These two, they're staying together. You know why? They are even now looking for a place to stay together. You know that um, last week they were evicted from the apartments they've been staying at, right? So they're supposed to make a plan for themselves now. These two are the only ones looking for a place to stay beyond the apartments they were given by the show Sibenzile and Buitepo, I have so many good things to say about them. They listen to each other. They, they just, they suit each other, man. It's like when you eat uh, ultramel and peaches after Mfundisi comes to bless your home. It's just going well together. There's, oh! I have too many good things to say about These two are definitely staying together. Okay? And then it's that relationship of Habli and Savannah which is Tabang and Kumo. Tabang and Kumo's love language is, um, is, their love language is, is, it, it is when, yeah, mm, they're definitely getting a divorce. They're never together, and when they're together, there's hardly involved and drinking involved. Kumo never wants to speak about things directly. She never wants to address anything. She's always hopping and jumping around questions. No. Tabang. Tabang. Tabang has this side of him. They, I don't know if they're just good at playing for the camera. There's just something. They're definitely getting a divorce. 
I said what I said and I mean what I said. So this is how the setup is set up right now. For me, the only couple that makes sense right now is that one of Sebenzile and Buitepo. Guys, there is a developing story, right? Uh, you know that show called Fake Gobela on Mocha Love? Tell me why I open my TV and I see Latoya McKenna being the alleged fake Gobela. And the student is like, your house is too tumultuous for us to speak to the underground gang. Uh, I, I want my money back as your student because I cannot connect to my underground people. But um, what in the Islam is going on? Like, what in the Islam is going on? I'm going to definitely come back and talk about that because that needs its own show. Like, it definitely needs its own show. Guys, also, I know I didn't address the elephant in the room, and the elephant in the room is the room. How, how do you like our new setup? How are you vibing with seeing me here like this? Nitini. So tell me in the comment section if you like it. No, you, you, you have to like it because we are not going anywhere. Because like, if you don't like it, we, we are not going anywhere. We are staying right here. So if you don't like it, sleep, wake up tomorrow, and then you'll like it. As for me, I will see you on the next episode. So here's the episode. Oh, not, not the next video. The next episode, guys. I will see you on the next episode with more topics because I feel like this was such a loaded video. Too many things, too many people, too many stories. As for me, uh, good night and good Mm, 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 mm. I'm done.